This lesson is lesson 6.5, and we're going to be talking about how to change fractions that have uncommon denominators to make their, their denominators common so you can add them. Again, let's always remember you cannot add or subtract fractions with unlike denominators. They're not the same. It'd be like adding apples and oranges. You want everything to be the same, so we want to change them all to apples or change them all to oranges. So in order to do that, we have to think about the least common um, denominator. So in order to do that, let's write all of our multiples. This one is going to be pretty easy to figure out. So my multiples of 4 are 4, 8, oh wait, my denominator down here is 8. Because they're the same, then I'm going to stick with 8. So that means 3 eighths does not need to be changed. It's just the same. So the only one I'm going to change up here is 1 fourth. So now we have to think of it like a multiplication sentence. 4 times what equals 8? And we should know that that would be 2. So I've done that with my denominator multiplied by 2, so I have to do the same thing with my numerator. 1 times 2 is 2. So now I have two numbers I can add. 2 eighths plus 3 eighths. And when I add them together, I get 5 eighths. You want to make sure it's in the simplest form. 5 and 8 have nothing in common except 1, so that number right there is in the simplest form. Now let's try one with subtraction. You're going to do the exact same thing, except be aware that you are now subtracting. My 10 and my 5 are uncommon denominators, or un, they're unlike denominators, so now I must find what they have in common. I'm going to start with my 10 and write those multiples of 10. 10... 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. And I'm going to look at my 5, and I'm going to start doing that. 5, 10, oh wait, I should have known that. And you'll eventually start to get to know it yourself as well. So 10 is going to stay the same, 9 tenths minus, and now I'm going to change this into tenths, this bottom one. So... 5 times what equals 10? That would be 2 as well. And 2 times 2 is 4, so my new fraction is 4 tenths. Now you want to write it vertical. You're going to want to do that because of several things, um, especially when it gets harder, so you want to keep it lined up. So 5 tenths is my answer. Sorry this is so sloppy. 5 tenths. Now, hmm, I do not believe that is in simplest form because 5 and 10, if I write their multiples, 1 times 5, 1 times 10, and 2 times 5. I'm out of room there. They have 5 in common. So I'm going to divide them both by 5. And when I do that, I get 1 half. And you guys should be able to look at that. We've talked about that in our lesson. 5 is half of 10, so I know that it's going to be 1 half. So 1 half is the answer. It's in the simplest form. And now we're going to try one that's a little bit harder. I have two numbers. I'm going to be adding them, and they both have different denominators. So I know I need to find a least common denominator to use. So I'm going to write my multiples for 6. 6, 12... 18, 24, 30, and then my, multi my multiples for 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, I think I found one that they have in common, they have 12 in common, so I'm going to go with 12 when I am doing my common denominator. So 6 times what is 12? That would be 2. So I'm going to do the same thing to the numerator. Remember, whatever you do the numerator, you must do to the denominator. And 4 times what? Oh, it's 3. So I'm going to do the same thing to the numerator. I'm going to do the same thing to both. So now I have my problem to add. 2 plus 9 is 11, and 12 remains the same. 11 twelfths. They're one away from each other, so I know it's in simplest form. Now I'm going to give you one to try on your own. Pause the video and try this one on your own, and then unpause it and listen to my description. When I'm starting this out, I'm going to start by listing my multiples. So 10 would be 10, 20, 30, 40. 
And when I'm doing 4, I would have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. I think I found it. 20. Okay. 20 is the least common denominator here. So we're going to use 20. I like to stay very organized with this. 4 times what is 20? It's 5. So I'm going to do the same thing to the numerator, and I get 5. And 10 times what is 20? 2. Remember, this number that you multiply is not going to be the same between the two numbers. It's not going to work out like that. So you got to be very aware of doing it for both numbers. So now I have 18 twentieths minus 5 twentieths. So 18 minus 5 is 13. And my denominator stays the same. Now 13 and 20, I only I know that 13's factors are 1 and 13, so that won't work with 20. So I know that my number is in the simplest form. So tomorrow in class, we're going to be working on this together and independently, and hopefully we have a better understanding of it. Thanks for watching.